Okay, I found myself something to sit on. All right, my hair doesn't look that great, but who cares? That's behind me. I don't know if you can see it or not, maybe not. Yep, that's my beehive. And today I'll tell you why I started beekeeping as soon as I find my note. You know what, I'll just wing it. So why did I start beekeeping? I watched a video with my students about uh, bees. It was called Vanishing of the Bees. This is a movie. I don't remember what year they produced it, but it was talking about how bees are disappearing and we're losing bees from the environment. So that made me think, hmm, why don't I start raising bees as well? Because it seemed like a fun thing to do. And it just happened after I had that thought, one of my co-worker had a post for a meeting about beekeeping. A local beekeeper was hosting, or I think they're called master beekeepers, something like that. Like you can take exams and education, etc. And you get different names for different levels of knowledge and stuff that you can do. All right. So long story short, I went to that meeting. It was interesting. He talked more about the anatomy, anatomy of the bee and other things, but didn't really dive deep into what it takes to be a beekeeper or anything like that. So I was still eh, not knowing a lot of things, but I was really interested at that point and I wanted to pursue it for sure. So I reached out to Dr. Yarbrough, who was one of my professors at the University of Mississippi, who happened to be a beekeeper. He started beekeeping about a year ago now, or maybe a little bit more than a year, depends on when he got his bees. He invited me to his backyard and he showed me his bees and it was a very interesting interaction with the bees. I wasn't wearing any bee suits and I was pretty close to them. And that just made me feel more comfortable toward the bees. It was like they are not as aggressive as I imagined them to be. These, oh, these... is that the queen? No, that's just so. No, uh, she'll probably be over on the brood. She's okay. probably, and I'm gonna go look for her real quick. Or at least try to see, uh, um, see where they've started putting brood in. I'm gonna quickly look for some eggs and then I'm out. There she is. Oh, she's beautiful. You wanna see her? Yeah. She's right there. The right here. Oh yeah, it's she's significantly bigger. Yeah. That's okay. a beautiful. She's doing what she's doing. I'm looking in here and I don't see any eggs on this side. It's just nothing but pollen and and uh, not pollen. Uh this is she's not on she's not laying any eggs here so i'm gonna put her back in now that we found her time came and it was all right i'm getting bees i am ready for that but it was too late no one sold nukes because everyone who has them already sold them out because you have apparently to book them way in advance which i had no idea so i wasn't really doing that amazing in terms of finding myself bees and stuff but it happened that after a bajillion phone calls two people had some extra nukes that I could get them from or get it from them. So I was okay, great, now I need to find a bee box and other things and tools and stuff and of course I don't know anything about it. I went to Amazon and I purchased like three or four bee, bee boxes to compare them and I figured out, all right, this one with the 10 frames, blah, 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 was about 120 bucks. It's not an expensive one, but also, I mean, bees don't care what you give them and I was like, I don't have a bajillion dollar to spend on it, so I got it. So I got those instructions, and this is my bee kit. Those are plastic, so I did some research, and apparently you can get them in plastic or wax. And people said plastic has a longer life because it's harder to break, but I don't know how well the bees are going to react to it. But according to online, it says it's fine, so we'll see. No, I'm not gonna bore you, I'll just assemble everything following the poorly written instructions and then we'll see what happens. And that was in early May. Was it early May? Yep, it was early May when I got the phone call and I left very early in the morning to go grab my bees. So it was a two hours drive and then I went, picked up my bees, dropped them at the farm, set the box, and it was an experience because I was definitely not doing what I'm doing, not doing what I'm doing, not knowing what I'm doing. Um, 
all the information you probably are hearing in that video is just wrong I kept saying brood and food and brood and nectar and just a bunch of different random words that I have been learning from YouTube and other places and not even using them correctly but eventually um, I managed to put it together and it's alive I mean we are on week three right now and it's still back there the bees didn't leave me they didn't swarm so I'm doing something right and yeah now I'm officially a beekeeper who take care of bees and let's see how this journey go I'm planning on filming it every now and then like I haven't filmed anything for this week because I didn't really do much I actually filmed it on my snapchat yeah i would be filming every now and then the progress the problem we face especially if I had a major problem y'all are definitely gonna know about because I would like to share and learn more so I'm still in a learning process so I'm not the professional beekeeper by any mean I don't know a lot I always learn from people I had my professor who helped me starting coming here yesterday we are basically in May 31st today yep yeah, it's May 31st and I'm filming this and he came here and helped me with the bees and how to take care of them so this is how they are doing right now I wasn't really planning this up but I'm also as you can see not wearing anything any protection so I don't want to annoy them too much but yeah that's my bee box and I'm a proud beekeeper I hope you all enjoyed that short segment of beekeeping with myself I'm gonna head home now and see you in the next beekeeping video